I've got a project in my hacking class here, um, Project 13, using the Ultimate Boot CD to create administrator accounts. And this is how you get past Windows passwords. So I've got a virtual machine here where I've already lengthened the boot up process, so I have plenty of time to change the BIOS settings. And if you go into Virtual Machine Settings and look at your CD DVD settings, I've configured it to use a disk image here. And the disk image is this download we've been using called ubcd.iso, which is a uh, maintenance tool. It's been around for quite a while to use for this purpose. So you start your virtual machine. You have some time here to press, to click, and then press F2, for example. Um, you can also do it with Escape. Then you go to the boot menu. Go to CD-ROM and click plus a couple times. So that it goes to the top. Now it's going to boot from the CD-ROM. And I'm going to press F10 to save and exit. And yes, press Enter to confirm that. And now it's going to boot again. And after this 10 second delay, it will boot from the ISO image. Now this ISO, the Ultimate Boot CD, I press Enter here to choose to boot from it. This thing is based on Windows XP, so it is pretty old. And that's the only limitation about this thing. If you try to pass, pass passwords on real hardware and you have modern hard drives, you may find that this causes the blue screen of death. You cannot boot from this CD because it doesn't have the uh, drivers for your hardware, so you may have to get a more recent one. And I have an extra credit project where you use a uh, a different boot disk that I found that's based on Linux and seems to have more modern drivers. And there's also a Hiram's boot CD, and you can do this with um, various Linux versions booting from them as well. Uh, this has been an old trick. Now it's taking a long time to boot up, and at this point it looks like it's frozen and dead, but it's not. It's just very slow. Um, and it was, I guess I'm just going to wait. Okay, good. I think I have some students that have given up by that point, but you just have to wait for this one. All of this, by the way, shouldn't be possible. It comes from Microsoft not updating their password storage system since 1993. Anyway, I'll click on this as soon as the thing lets me to accept the default shell. OK. And now it starts services. Network support is slow, and I don't need it, so I say no. And that gets me to a strange little startup screen that looks a little bit like Windows XP. So it is Start Programs, Password Tools, Password Renew. This is a very nice hacking tool, but like all hacking tools, the UI is strange. It has stuff up here called Startup, which is completely useless. You start down here with Select Target. Then you have to select this Windows uh, folder, C Windows, of the machine you want to change passwords on. And that is this one. C Windows, then OK. Then create new administrator user. I'm not sure if these other options work. I recommend using this one. I'm going to call this guy Dr. Evil 3 because I've done it a few times on this machine. And I'm just going to leave the password blank. And then you click Install. And now you're done. Now all you have to do is close the boxes and restart the machine, uh, which would be turn off. Shut down, restart, eject. That will eject the virtual CD and restart back into Windows. And when I get there, I'll now have a new administrator account named Dr. Evil 3 with no password, so I can log in and uh, do whatever I want, including um, adjusting other passwords. So that's what I wanted to show you. I'll stop this thing.